Hello everybody, it's KFG207 and welcome back to another episode of 200cc on all CTGP custom tracks. So today we're going to go over these four cups. We've actually got about like three episodes left uh, in this series. And I will also be including the hidden uh, custom tracks, but that'll be at the very end. So today we're going over these four cups. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, please check them out using the card at the top right of the screen or the link in the description. So, uh, we're gonna start with the green star cup, and uh, I've got all kinds of retros here. Let's start with GBA Sunset Wilds. This is actually one of the retro tracks from the GBA that I actually like, because it has some stuff to trick on, so it's not just all boring. Whoops, oh, okay, there's rocks. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, you can trick on this. And there's boost panels. Okay, wait, that's not right. <laughs> You're supposed to hop over those and trick. Oh my. Okay, um, can I like restart this? This is not going well. <laughs> you can trick on all those little footprints, um, and you can go on the boost panels. I I can't seem to trick off anything right now. Wonder if 200 CC makes you go like too fast or something. There's also a little shortcut that's like a freebie. You can you can take it even on 150 as well. Um, you should really go for it. Cuts off the turn. And I think that's that's really about about it, right? <laughs> For this track, let's actually not ah oh, hit one of those things. They they limit your speed on 200 cc. Oh my! I also cannot trick off of these for the life of me. Why is it not letting me trick off these? I guess I'm going too fast somehow. Come on, I'm just going too fast to trick on those uh, footprints. But you can normally in 150. There we go. And. I think I'm, I'm gonna call it a day for uh, Sunset Wilds here. Next up, we've got Ancient Lake from the Diddy Kong Racing game. So, this track is very simple and straightforward. I might only show like two laps of this one as well. So, I wonder if this boost panel lasts all the way. Oh, not entirely. But, let's see if I can cut off at least a little bit there next lap. Yeah, this, this is how short the track really is. and. Especially on 200 CC, it gets it gets even faster. You could try and do that online, I guess. You can cut off a little bit. This really is it, huh? Uh, like, what is there to do? I'm, I'm seeing these ruins. Can you drive on this? Oh, you can't. Whoa, it's a trick ramp as well. What? <laughs> I never like never would you ever go off this, but it exists. It's like a mushroom pad or something like that. Wonder if you could like. Take off this. Oh, it's the mushroom gorge effect. Yep, you can fly over the wall. Uh, you can do that on 150. This is not specific to. Uh, whoa. Uh, it's not specific to uh, 200 CC. Okay, I thought maybe there could be some uh, some crazy lap count glitch or something, but it doesn't really seem like the case because you get respawned. You, you, it's way too far away. If this if this ramp were like right next to the start line, you could probably potentially glitch. Um, but yeah, that's that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, that's it for ancient ruins. Uh, sorry, ancient ancient lake. That's it. I don't know. What, is there even a lake on this? There is a lake on this track, right at the very end. I mean, this track's this, this whole track's name is based off of this lake right here. It's not even that big of a lake, is it? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, man. I didn't, I didn't name this track. And next we have N64 Toad's Turnpike. I'll just show about like one lap of this track. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll show like one lap of this track. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, let's. I mean, I mean, this, this track. I mean, do I need to say much more? I don't think this track is any special on 200. We already had like Death Pike in like earlier versions of CCGP, which which I believe had an even faster speed mod. So I guess this is like Death Pike toned down a little bit. It's nothing special, like I said already. Oh, oh boy. Um, just gotta avoid the cars. Becomes a little bit more tricky. Ah, going so fast, but it's it's, it's just not it's not too difficult. It's not it's not too interesting. I'm just gonna call it here. <laughs> this was N64 at uh, Toad's Turnpike. 
Next up we've got N64 Wario Stadium. So, yeah, this track is pretty long and straightforward. I'll just show you one one lap of the track, I guess, because it's a three lap track, but it's, it's really long. And again, I don't think there's much to do. There's invisible walls everywhere, so trying to cut off anything is not possible. Whoops. Um, oh, jeez. And yeah, it's it, you're basically just stuck to this like linear section right here. Let's go, guys. We're going for the glitch. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, almost, almost made it. All right. Um, if I just had a better alignment, I could, I could, I could have done it. Anyway, let's go over here. I wonder if you can actually touch the, the, the fall boundary from over here. If you somehow get enough speed on the final bump, I doubt I'm gonna be able to get enough speed. Oh, uh, nah. It's really tough. If that does happen, you're gonna have to be really unlucky for for you to like land on the final ridge and fly up. I don't know. Let's try to just you know try and do a shortcut like on the mini map. You could see perhaps what if we jump over there, but it's like it's all invisible walls. Yeah, and out of bounds boundaries. It's just uh, you can't really do anything on this track. It's just a lot faster. Gotta watch out for this turn. I I see people running to the wall in 150 as well. Thankfully, you've got Brake Drift in this mode. And yeah, that's going to be it for uh, N64 Wario Stadium. Our next cup is the Goomba Cup. And we're starting off with uh, Dry Dry Desert from Mario Kart Double Dash. Now, this track is Magic Cruiser Heaven. Because there's so much off-road to cut on this track. You can drive all the way over here. Um, but I think on 200cc it's not faster at all Because you know you also go faster on the normal road. Okay, come on <laughs> so If you have magic cruiser go for it This would be like the track to choose if you're if you're playing magic cruiser online Here we go and you can trick off this but it loses all your speed so it's not really useful Because it's still you know off-road sand and again I don't think there's much to say about this track, huh? Just, just massive shortcuts. It's a very, very good port, obviously, and uh, the fact that they tried to like recreate the whole, um, what is that? I don't know, pit, sand pit. I don't know. If, uh, <laughs> it's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for uh, dry, dry desert. Next up we have GBA Riverside Park. So, what's special about this track again? I don't remember. It's all these these retro tracks. Oh, this one has like the shortcut there. I wonder if we can do it shroomless on 200. I didn't even bother tricking there because I felt like if I tricked, we would have just flown off. I'm actually gonna try to trick in the next lap, I guess. See how far I can go. It's actually, it's, now I'm thinking about it, it's probably one of those like, uh, speed limiting ramps so it's probably gonna be less fun than I thought it would be okay I also missed I, I tried to trick on that one but somehow missed it uh, let's try this again I guess we'll go for the shortcut next come on let's see what if I shroom over here dude we can go all the way I wonder if that allows us to do anything special I don't know if you have shrooms you might as well like go for the, sh the intended shortcut here Oh, you can't even drift on this. This is like heavy off-road. And it might not be faster on 200, actually. Even if you try it shroomless. I don't know, I'm no expert in this. I guess time trials records will uh, show you what's fastest. <laughs> or just maybe you could try to experiment on your, on your own. Like, I'm just gonna try to do this, but... Oh, ah! Uh, it stopped my drift because I go. I, I went too slow. Um, I don't think this is going to be too f too useful. Eh. Look at how slow. Oh, you can't even make it. You, you actually can't. You don't have enough speed. So, so much for that. Shroomless, I guess. So, I wonder if you could land over. What? Whoa. Uh, okay, so this is just me like exploring the track. Uh, you can you can do that on 150 for sure, but. What the? Uh, um. Wait just a moment. <laughs> Wait. What? Can you not reach it from this angle? 
Uh, I, now I didn't hop. Okay. Wait just a moment. Um. Oh, I'm being cornered. No. Oh no. Okay, let's 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 get a good angle. Try to land on there. I don't think you can do anything, but still, it's interesting. Okay, let's go. This angle should be fine. Mm, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, what? But, but I landed on there before. I, <laughs> I'm confused now. Wait just a moment. Why is this so difficult to get on here? Come on. Okay, there we go. So, can we do anything? Oh, we're stuck to this small area, I guess. Well, let's see if we can go the other way. You could, like, land on the grass over there. Ooh, don't want to fall off. I wonder if you can... You can probably land over on the left here. It's probably out of bounds. Still gonna try it. Ah, oh, yep. Dang it. No fun allowed. <laughs> anyway, that's it for uh, GBA. What is it? Riverside... Riv uh, that thing, something. Volcanic Pipe Yard it is. And, oh, it's actually this short, it's a short version of this track. There's like two versions of this track, and I can't remember which one is which. Whoops, I think we played the other one already in this series. Probably, there's not that many tracks left. I like the shorter one, because it's shorter. Oh, that's a problem. Note to self, hold up on that ramp, otherwise you're not going to make it. Oh boy, this is annoying. Ooh, hold up on that ramp, or you're not going to make it. <laughs> I guess for future... Uh, what are these birds doing over here? What the... Yeah, this seems fine. <laughs> what the... Are those like... Retextured seagulls? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, 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 whatever. Never really looked at that while I played in this track before. <laughs> oh boy. Almost, almost made it out the top of the lava here. Yeah, anyway, this, you know, the short version of this track. I like it. I like it a lot. A lot more than the other one. Yeah, there we go. So, I mean, let me try, like, low trick. Yeah, oh no, and then... I kept holding up. That's not good. <laughs> low trick. If you low trick, don't hold up, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, well. I guess I'll show two laps of this track. I wonder if you could, like... Nah. Oh boy. Oh, it actually counts you out of bounds. I thought it didn't, because I clipped through it already. It totally does. Please also hold up on that ramp, because you're going to die otherwise. That's kind of lame. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, anyway, here it was. Uh, was it Volcanic Pipe Yard? Let's head to the next track. Up next is Conquer Town. And... I had heard from someone, I believe, that you could, like, use the bridge and cut off a bunch of tracks. I'll try it in a moment. Like, this, you can, you can see, you can, like, try to cut off that section. I don't know if it counts the lap, but you can definitely fly over those buildings, so I'll try that in a moment. It actually looks really sick. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I should trick on these bridges. Oh, no! My mushrooms! I'll have to restart. Tricking on the bridges is probably not a good idea, because you go so fast, then... I couldn't even trick, and ah, oh, this is heavy off-road. Dang it! <laughs> All right, I, I have to restart. And give myself uh, mushrooms, I guess. Oh boy, this is fine. Let's let's try to cut. Actually, you know, like I'll just try it with that. Oh well, I, I'll restart anyway. The timing is perfect at the beginning of the race. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh boy! <laughs> wow! I really don't think it's gonna count the lap, but that was sick. That that was sick. All right, let's see. It, uh, there's no Lakitu, but I still don't think it's not. It's good. Eh, I can't speak. I still don't think it's gonna count the lap. If it does, that would be. I mean, that would be sick. But I don't. Also, don't really want it to count because that's like way overpowered shortcut. Okay, it doesn't. But that was so cool though. <laughs> I want to do it again. Oh, there we go. Can you do it without mushrooms? Kind of. I, I tried to cut off too much. Whoops. It's probably going to respawn me. Yeah, over here. Dang it. Uh, 
I mean, you could try to do it backwards. I guess I'll wait for the bridge. That was really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't count the lap, so... Kind of disappointed, but also kind of relieved because I don't want people to do that online. <clears throat> I mean, it, it's a really cool shortcut, though. If it were possible. Oh, boy. Well, into the water we go. So... I don't know, I guess I'll just finish this lap. And then uh, we're gonna call it a day. Let's head over here. I wonder if you could, like, skip that. Oh, if I could trick off that. I don't think you can trick off it, though. If you could trick off it, you could probably just skip the bridge altogether. Let's head into the fountain. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, that's it for Conquer Town. Let's head to the next track. The next cup is the Lakitu Cup. And we're gonna start with the Big Express City. Big Express City is one of my favorites. It's a one lap custom track and I won't be able to show you all the paths, but I guess I'll just take the route that's originally like the fastest route. I don't know if 200cc may cause a new route to be faster. I doubt it though. So let's go over here. Now I hope I don't fall off. <laughs> Because this section is kind of wonky. Oh no! Well, okay. Let's let's backtrack a little bit. Let's. You want to like drift over here because otherwise you might like get a weird bounce and fall off. And then wait. Oh, can we skip this? No, it's solid from this side. I thought you could just clip through. Now I don't. I don't have any mushrooms anymore. Dang it! Should have should have known. But anyway, I I'm so bad. What the hell? <laughs> Um, I think I'm already too late for the train at this point. It's already fast. No, never mind. Somehow I'm still faster. So, okay. Let's go here. I really like this track. It's one of my favorites in CCGP right now. And, of course, we get we get the uh, Deja Vu music. Uh, sometimes I'm happy I made a music pack. <laughs> for stuff like this. Alright. I don't think there's that much special you can do, however at the end there's like a big shortcut off the ramp that you normally need a mushroom for, but I think it's faster just to go for it even on 200 just without a shroom. Even if you do land into the grass again, it doesn't really matter because you're going to skip a lot of time. There we go. Yeah, this is totally worth it. Ooh, I took it a little bit too wide, but that's totally worth it. Normally you'd use a shroom on 150. And I can go over here, and we could potentially like go for the little shortcut here as well. I don't know if that's that might be faster than going wide. I don't know, but anyway, that was it for a big express city. Here we have Lost Fortress, and which which I've played online already. I'm pretty sure this track has a glitch now. Um, a pretty, I believe it's a pretty easy glitch as well. It, it, it it's, it's a, uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> you can basically have like a lap of like five seconds or so. It's pretty bad. Oh, well, anyway, let's just do the standard strats and then, ooh, this is fine. Okay, here we go. And, well. I wanted to try to cut off and land on the wall, but it didn't work, so... There we go. It's actually... This strike is actually quite fun to play on 200cc, I would say. Um, I also noticed that, like, there's this path over here. Now, I think... Uh, as far as I remember, this used to be a split path, but they changed the track layout. But they kind of left that over there. And I'm just... Like, wondering to go over there? I, it, I totally didn't even realize it was still there in the old version, but the new version with the changed boost panels made me realize that there's some stuff over there. I'm, I'm just gonna try to go over there. You could probably do this on 150 as well, but... Eh, let's see. I don't think you can really go anywhere. I think it just ends here. Uh, what even is this? Uh, yeah, it just ends here. This is, uh... Well, kind of. I wonder if it came back up over there and and attached itself to that road. Um, I don't think there's much to do here, is there? 
<laughs> um, I guess I'll just try to go for the glitch, however, I don't think I'll be able to do it. It's pretty, it's pretty particular, and I've only seen it once, uh, and that was like a really, really long time ago, back when 200cc just came out. I guess I'll give it a try. I'll give you the general gist of it. You just go off this ramp and you land back on the road on the right. So let's see. Let's let's. I'll try to go for it. You just you just basically just go like this. And I think I went too far right, but you get the general gist of it. Just try to look for some uh, time trial. <gasps> that is, I, I I totally did it just then. <laughs> I don't I don't know the specifics of how the glitch. Uh, works and how far left or right you can go, but uh, it's not even that difficult. Oh, jeez. And it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, at least uh, you can't do this online because online there's like anti ultra shortcut stuff in place that stops stuff like the uh, Gromal Volcano ultra shortcut uh, in online play, so. Yay, CGGP. So, <laughs> yeah, enjoy. That's that's now a new category in the time trials. Here's another track from Diddy Con Racing, Jungle Falls. And I guess I'll show like two laps of this. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. Uh, I use the Yoshi Falls music, interesting. I don't know if that really fit, like my, <laughs> my song doesn't really fit this track, does it? <laughs> And I don't know if this this panel is even faster. You go way wide, but yeah, you go wide for that one as well. I, whatever. This is like the only good boost panel. <laughs> I I don't I don't know what to say. I don't think there's much to do on this track. It's pretty quick, just like the other one from Diddy Kong Racing. It's pretty fast. I want to like know if you could like. Could you like make it up onto the upper route? I think if you use the bullet bill over here, it will make you go into the upper route right there. Uh, I think in Diddy Kong Racing, you could like fly. Like you could, you could have, um, what was it? I think Diddy Kong Racing has you like race in multiple different uh, vehicles. Like you can fly or in a hovercraft or a cart or something like that. So I wonder if you could like, like propel yourself off the side of this bridge, but like, I'll just give it like one attempt. Oh, I lost all my speed there. You can see what I was trying to do. Just, but I, there's so little space to get speed. If it is possible, it's going to be really hard. Oh gosh. Uh, Alright, screw this. This is not going to work. <laughs> um, ouch. Rocks here. Maybe you could like trick off on these rocks just like the other, uh, the other track. That'd be great. Suddenly, Mushroom Gorge physics. I don't think so. As well as just walls. Well, I guess that's going to be that for uh, Jungle Falls. Let's head to the next track. Ah, yes. Everyone's favorite color, uh, color Wonderland. Yeah, so this track is interesting. Especially because we're about to go over a boost panel. And there's a really quick turn. A really tight turn. Oh... You need to break drift there, and that turn, like, if you play online, you're gonna see, like, half the room fall off that turn, if not more than half the room. <clears throat> I, we, we have experience from that, from from the live streams. <laughs> and, and then, oh, jeez, wait, wait, oh, hold up, okay, okay, um, I messed up, <laughs> that's the, that's not right, uh, this track is very interesting on 200. It's a lot, it's, it's, I don't know, more difficult than the original one. Or, you know, on, on 150, I guess. Ooh, oh, I went too tight. No, I'm fine. Ah, no, I'm not. <laughs> ah, this track's pretty wonky, but if you practice this a bit, you can probably get good at it. And if you select this in, like, a friend room with 200, 200cc, 200 uh, you're probably gonna win guaranteed if you're good at this if you practice a bit <laughs> but me obviously I suck at this track <laughs> let's see oh yeah that was better that was that was way better of an ending than last time there we go let's let's go for like the good la oh my god I just did like a 
moon jump almost. I don't know what I did. I didn't, I didn't mean to do anything, but I mean, sure, the sticky road just gave up on me. Which actually was pretty fast. <laughs> That's just kind of random. Sometimes the sticky road gives up on you. Sometimes you, sometimes you literally cannot make that first turn because the sticky road just gives up and you just fly off. Oh, please. Oh, yes. This is actually a good lap. I'm happy about this one. Anyway, that's it for Color Wonderland. Kind of tricky, but it's actually like fun to play if you practice it a bit. Our last cup for the day is the Volt Shroom Cup, and uh, has some 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 more retro tracks. Anyway, we're gonna start with DS Bowser Castle. Yes, this is Bowser Castle for the DS, and uh, I kind of want to show like. Just like one lap of this. I don't know if there's much interesting to do. I do remember that in the original game, in the original game you could like hop off here or something and like jump off the track. Oh, you kind of can. I I got stuck on a wall, but then I didn't. I don't know what that was. <laughs> anyway, you should always. Okay, you should you should never touch the fire, but you should always take this route, just like on the original game. It's just uh. It's just not faster to go the other route. I haven't taken I haven't taken the other route in years. Um, I go on this spinning thing. I'm actually happy that I stayed on the right side there. You really should not try and go on the a left there in the direction that it's turning because if you get shocked on it, you'll fall off. But if you're on the right side, you could probably save yourself um, from falling off if you get shocked or something or get hit by a red shell or anything like that. So, just a little tip there, because it's really annoying if you fall down. You know what? Let's take this route. Um, okay, there's a thwomp here. Uh, okay, well, cool. Don't take it, it's way slow. <laughs> and you know, I might as well just like hop down here and have a, have a look down here. This track isn't anything special in 200cc, I don't think you can do too much on it. But I guess it makes the ending shortcut a bit easier. I'll go for it and then I'll end this uh, this track. So yeah, you can just like hop off here. I didn't even hop, but it still works because we're on 200 CC. Um, I think you can you can go shroomless on 150 as long as you have a mini turbo and you hop. But uh, on 200 CC it's even easier. So anyway, let's head to the next track. Next, another great DS track. I think these are like made by Sneaky, if I'm not mistaken. And he did a really good job on making them look really good. So, props to him. And I'll show one lap, I guess. Oh no, okay. Should have brake drifted there. Ah, come on, come on. Yeah, I'll show one lap on this. And you can go on the left and shroom. Eh, like that. <laughs> there isn't much special on this track again. It's really straightforward. Ooh, I just don't want to hit any cars. At least it's more interesting than Toad's Turnpike, you know. And well, I mean, this is this is all there is to the track. Um, you know, I'll, I'll show another lap. These go by really quickly. I'll take the the standard route this time. Ooh, there we go. This this uphill section is really annoying because you don't you can't really see. <laughs> I remember on the on the DS game you could look on the on the bottom screen map and you could see the cars coming, but you can't in this game. Woo! So let's uh, head to the next track. Here we have GBA Peach Circuit. I think this track's kind of almost too dark. It must be another Chaos Shadow track then. Uh, <laughs> It almost feels like it's a bit dark or something. Um, I don't know why some ports have that. I think I think most of those are made by by Chaos Shadow or something, and he likes to make his tracks a little dark for some reason. But yeah, I mean, I, I really just don't know what to say about this track. There really is nothing special about it. It's another flat GBA retro track. We all know what these are. I've played through like a whole load of them already and there's just a bunch of grass shortcuts I guess you can take. I mean there's a cool addition to these cones 
you know, they, they added the colors on the track. That's that, that's something. <laughs> anyway, let's head to the next track. I uh, had a quick look, and indeed, it was a track by Chaos Shadow, and so is this one, GBA Rainbow Road. Two stars, I guess that's because there might be two versions in the game, I don't know. But, um, this is also a Chaos Shadow track. I wouldn't say this one is, like, too dark or anything. There's not much to see anyway. Here we go. Well, I messed that up. Very nice. These shortcuts are now even easier on 200. Ooh. Um, I normally use, like, the Toad's Factory, uh, like, Lake Skip Strat, whatever you want to call it, to make it across those turns. It's actually not that hard in 150. And here we go. I guess I'll just show one more lap. This is also the last track of this video. Here we go. Oh, you really kind of don't want to touch these. Actually, you can if you don't go towards the center. Oh, jeez. Uh, I just try to stay away from them anyway. Because if you hit the center, they're really slow. Because they limit your speed to 50, which is really slow. Especially on 200. And uh, I, I don't even go for the outside, uh, the, the other the other roads. Because it's just not faster. There's, there's more item boxes though, so I guess if you're in dire need of an item box lap 3, then perhaps you should. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it. I mean, I wonder if you can, like, it's probably out of bounds. Oh, no. Oh, you could make that shortcut, probably. Interesting. I don't know how much of that will help, really. <laughs> but, and I also don't know if the lap will count, but you could try that yourself, I guess. You know what, we're here anyway, might as well take this. And there we go. That's gonna be it for this video. I guess uh, we shall soon head over to the menu once again. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and uh, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see future uploads. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.